Okay, let's continue with bank reconciliation statement and in this uh, session I'm going to take up a question. Here I'll write the question. Prepare a bank reconciliation statement. From the following particulars. As on 31st December 2013, when the passbook balance, uh, when the passbook showed a debit balance of rupees 2500, the first transaction that is given is checks issued for rupees 5000 up to 31st December 2013. Only rupees three thousand could be cleared. Second, checks issued for rupees thousand but omitted to be recorded recorded in the cash book. Right. Thirdly. Checks deposited for rupees 5500, but checks for rupees 500 were collected on 4th January 2013. Then, 4th, a discounted bill of exchange. This honor rupees one thousand. The check of rupees five hundred debited debited in cash book, but omitted to be banked. Then interest allowed by the bank. Rupees two hundred, but no entry was passed in the cash book. Right now, these are the uh, items that is given. This has to be put in the bank reconciliation statement. Now, let's make the bank reconciliation statement first. Bank reconciliation statement as on 31st December 2013. Right? So, here first of all, balance, this is overdraft balance, right? Uh, overdraft balance as per passbook is 2500. Now, here I will write add items. And here I'll write less items. Right? Okay. Now let's take up the first one. Checks issued for rupees five hundred five thousand uh, up to thirty first December two thousand thirteen. Only rupees three thousand could be cleared. That means checks amounting to rupees two thousand could not be cleared. Right. So uh, when the checks are issued, the overdraft balance as per the cash book goes up. Right. So the overdraft balance as per the cash book has gone up by five thousand. Whereas the bank, in the bank, the overdraft balance has gone up only by three thousand because it could not collect checks worth rupees, it could not clear checks worth rupees two thousand, right? So the difference is two thousand. In the cash book, the overdraft balance is more by two thousand. Fine. So this one should be added. So here I'll write checks issued but not cleared, right? 2000 rupees right then checks uh, uh next one is okay checks issued checks issued for rupees 1000 but omitted to be recorded in the cash book now checks have been issued for rupees 1000 so it might have been cleared by the bank also 
so the bank overdraft goes up the overdraft as per the passbook goes up but in the cash book you have not recorded it so the cash book overdraft balance is less right so here it will come in the less here you will write checks issued but omitted to be entered in cash book right so that is 1000 rupees fine then checks deposited for rupees 5500 but checks for rupees 500 were collected on 4th january 2013 so checks deposited for rupees 5500 means the overdraft balance as per the cash book has come down right and uh, basically here checks for rupees 500 were collected on 4th january 2013 so as per the bank the overdraft balance has come down only by 5000 rupees so the overdraft balance as per the bank is less sorry as per the cash book is less right okay because in the cash book it has come down by 5500 the difference is 500 rupees right so here it should be deducted again right checks deposited but not collected only 500 rupees you will put here fine only rupees 500 will come the next one is a discounted bill of exchange dishonored rupees 1000 so when the discounted bill of exchange is dishonored the cash book overdraft balance will be more right whereas in the uh, whereas in the cash book overdraft balance will be less i'm sorry discounted bill of exchange dishonored rupees 1000 here in the bank as per the passbook the overdraft balance will go up by 1000 whereas in the cash book it will be less right so this should also be deducted right so here i'll write Bill of exchange dishonored. The amount is one thousand. Next one. A check of rupees five hundred debited in the cash book. In the cash book, you have debited the amount. That means. In the cash book, the overdraft balance has come down because you have debited the amount in the cash book, right? The check has been received and you have debited it, but you have not banked it, right? So, in the bank, the overdraft balance is still more. In the cash book, it is less, right? So, in the cash book, it has become less means it should be subtracted, right? <clears throat> so, here you will write. check debited in cash book but not bank right 500 rupees then interest allowed by the bank rupees 200 but no entry was made in the cash book when the interest is allowed by the bank the bank as per the bank the overdraft balance comes down right but no entry has been passed in the cash book means in the cash book it is more the balance is more so this should be added right so interest allowed is 200 rupees that should be added fine okay now let's see this is 2200 so here you write 2200 add this this becomes 4700 and the uh, total of this is 1000, 2000, 3000 right ok so here from this you have to deduct 3000 so 4700 minus 3000 is 1700 
okay so this is overdraft balance as per the cash book is 1700 fine so here we can write this is your answer overdraft balance as per the cash book right this is 1700 initially we started with an overdraft of 2500 to that we added 2200 so the overdraft balance became 4700 and from that 3000 has been deducted so it's still the overdraft balance as per the cash book right okay so this is how this question will be done right hope you have understood this so uh, with that i come to the end of this session on bank reconciliation statement bye